is with me, Ming. And today our, our learning target is to change y to 2mx plus c into the form of ax plus by plus d equal to zero form. This is what we call the standard form. And usually when given this way, a, b, d, these parameters are usually assumed to be the integers. So first is to change this equation, y equal to, two, y equal to 2x plus 5 into the form x plus b, y plus d. Basically, what we need to do is to do an arrangement. You can see that here, all right, I already have 2 and x and a 5 here. So that could be my ax and d. So I just need b, y. So to do this, I need to move the y to the other side. So I can write 0 equal to 2x plus 5 minus y. I rearrange it to be of this form, that is 2x minus y plus 5. Thus, I have it. So that is, in this case, a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, and d is equal to 5. Here is the next question, number 2. That is, now you need to write this linear function into this form. All right, remember that a, b, and d has to be integers. So let's check. So x, here's the number, that's this, and 1 is already here. So what I'm missing is b1. So I need to move my y to the other side. All right, so that means 0 equal to 3 fifth x, and then plus 1 minus y. Now, you think that you are finished, but unfortunately, a, b, and d has to be in terms of integer. Well, to make this an integer, I can multiply the whole thing by this number at the bottom, that is 5. So, I'm going to be multiplying everything, both sides, by 5. So, that's what I'm doing, 3 fifth x minus y plus 1, basically I arrange the y to the second term, exchange the second and third term. So now 5 times 0 actually give you 0. And this 5 times 3 fifth, 5 and 5 cancel, that is left with 3x minus 5y plus 5, that is multiplying true, all right? Here give you negative 5y, and then here 5 times 1 give me 5. So I'm basically done. In this case, a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 5, and d is equal to 5. All right, let us look at the next question. Here, you might want to pause the video, attempt this question, and once you're ready, press the play button and you check the answer. All right, welcome back. So this is the equation that I have and I need to put it into this form. So let's check. Uh, I have the x, yep, and I have the constant that's here. So what I need is the y move to the other side. So to get this one. Alright, so I have 0 equal to negative x over 3 minus 2 minus y. And then I can rearrange this slightly, negative x over 3, and exchange the position of the second and the third terms. So I get this. Now, to get rid of the denominator, I need to multiply everything by 3. So 3, that is in the denominator here, 3. So 0 equal to 3 times negative x over 3 minus 1 minus 2. So that becomes 0 negative x minus 3y minus 6. So here, you can see that a is equal to negative 1, b is equal to negative 3, and d is equal to negative 6. That's one way. Now, if you don't like to see so many negative signs, now what you could do is to put the, this equation on, on my right-hand side to the left hand side. So if you move negative x to the other side, then these become x equal to negative 3y minus 6. So then again, you move the second term to the next side, that becomes 3y. 
equal to negative 6 and then keep on moving all the terms and then this is what you get. So this is probably more pleasing and in this particular case my A here is 1, B here is 3 and D here is 6.